the screen? I can't. Yeah, I want to go over. Okay, cool. Boom. Um, so first quick question is just on the uh, um, audience overlap side of things. I'm wondering if there's like a, because just as I'm like, basically what I'm doing right now is testing a lot of new audiences and everything. Is there a certain kind of like audience overlap percentage um, that you would start excluding audiences from each other? No, um, I just, I just combine. Okay. So if, if the, if basically if, if an ad, if two audiences or something have a lot of overlap, just combine those audiences together. Yeah. Um, for instance, like these two, I only tested these for a second, but the uh, the Instagram engagers, 180 day and 365 day were essentially the exact same audience. Um, and I ended up, I, I turned off. Yeah, you know, so like for the Instagram engagers, 30 day, that one at the top, you should just make that a 10% and then turn off those two create a brand new one here that's 10% and turn off these two? Yeah. Okay. And then, okay, cool. Cause I know, and then the other thing was we were testing the 180 day and 365 day and ne yeah. neither one, I only ended up running one of them because the overlap was like 99% or something like that. So I, um, I mean, basically I didn't want to test the same audience with, with two. So I just test one and it didn't really work that well, but okay. So, take those guys and make them here. I'm just going to do a little to do thing here. Um, Instagram. Yeah. Engage and, do you, and do you enjoy managing and, your ads, Steve? Um, that's a, that's a double sided question, man. Yes and no. <laughs> it's sometimes it's, it's more of a time thing. Like, uh, I enjoy doing it, but I've got so much other stuff on my plate too, that I don't necessarily do it. Yeah, because this account, just from what I'm seeing here, it needs a lot of attention. And uh, with you being in the, correct me if I'm wrong, but the candle space, is that correct? Uh, yep. I was actually going to, this is like totally a side thing, but you should, if you want, I don't know if Michael's still on here, but I heard him talking about supplier issues. We have a whole manufacturing side of our business. So I don't know if you could connect us. I don't, it sounds like his guy is having some trouble with his manufacturer being able to to have enough capacity so but that's just a side thing <laughs> yeah certainly you could uh post yeah. in the group and he'll he'll respond for oh, sure yeah. oh, sure you'd be happy yeah okay cool i'll do that yeah yeah and another thing is that just from looking at your ad account i mean like we could like there's a lot of opportunity and you know this was being checked in on like daily and actively managed i could certainly see you being pushing as much numbers as what we're doing on michael's side um okay so i mean like if you want to speak with my team i could definitely put you in yeah. touch with them as well that would be cool. Yeah. Cause I think it's one of those things where it's like, I really, I do really enjoy doing it. And we've had, I've definitely wanted to kind of do it myself cause we haven't had good agency experiences in the, in the past. Right. Um, and like, I've definitely had more success just kind of doing it myself than agent than I've had with agencies, but it's kind of felt like we've just been plugged and chugged through a random system that they're like, this just works for everybody. So, um, but no, I'd be super interested in doing that. Totally. Um, for sure, just to get some more hands on it, um, cool, and just kind of do like a review of the of the whole thing and see what the opportunities are. Certainly, yeah. Um, but that's, I mean, that's cool that you. I mean, like when you say it, just super, super quick. Like what kind of, like when you're like you see a lot of opportunities here just with just daily management. Things. But like for instance, like the home goods one, like that one could certainly be cut, and then combining your mm -hmm. audiences and then you're retargeting um cl click inside that 30 day For one sure. so here those could be combined you could add in the instagram hunter uh, instagram 365 facebook at 365 website 180 day put it all in one ad okay. set okay. Um, and then go to your other campaign here the other retargeting yeah, so like this one could use like the add to cart seven, the view content 14, the purchase 180 day. Okay. Um, There's a these lot could of, certainly be okay. scaled up. Okay. Yeah, because I'm running, that was my other kind of big question was was looking at like scaling because you know I, I see things where like the home goods, it's, you know, this is the last seven days, but you know, lifetime, it's 
it it's done okay it, it hadn't been like amazing but it's like oh this week then it kind of like dropped off so um but yeah then with some other things you know it's like oh such and such is doing good i know that the uh like our control audience in here was doing this control audience i turned i was kind of letting it still test yeah i was gonna I, I was gonna wait until you saw it before i turned it off but it was doing like a four or five x and then all of a sudden it kind of just like without any changes just went in the matter of yeah. a, a week or so went down to that point three so um yeah i'd make the 10 percent instagram engagers i then scale that one up i mean i'd like go to 100 daily for sure starting there Okay. Um, cool. I would create a purchase lookalike yeah. audience of a purchasers lookalike. Yeah, a purchase thirty day lookalike. Have you you've done that before? I think it's. Let me see. I know I've got. Uh, I mean, I've got this right here. Yeah. Yeah. So you make a lookalike. um isn't this already this is a look like audience though so. oh is it really yeah yeah yeah. this is this is a look like of our purchase 30-day purchasers okay so then i do like a three percent of that one and i okay. do yeah i do that i turn off that add to cart 30 day yeah I wonder, i'd launch I a campaign what is i'd i'd launch a campaign that's dedicated to value-based lookalikes Okay. Yeah, I was uh, I was actually interested in that as well. The value based lookalikes. Um, so you say three percent on that purchaser's thirty day. That's right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I like that. And then. Cool. And what do you I'd put that on? I'll put that out to the the team and everything tomorrow too. Yeah, and that that would give you three yeah. sets of eyes on the account and daily cool. you know management of it yeah yeah i really like that cool i'll but in the meantime i'll definitely do this i'll make this i'll i'll just do a new instagram engagers 10 percent 30 day shut those guys off yeah um, and then that clavio okay. or clavio how do you pronounce that yeah i don't know <laughs> everybody said call it says something different <laughs> i shut but yeah i shut this off you should certainly it was, come up it hadn't driven any purchases but then mm. later, later on, like one purchase came in and now it's at a totally. nine. So the purchase you came in after I shut it off. Right. Yeah. You could come up with some more Clavio audiences from that because that helps with the data as well. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah I can and then another thing is uh, 